Hey guys, today we are in Audi with MMI um, MIP2 system and I'm going to show you to show you how to enable the developer mode over here and how to enter the hidden green menu in this system. So first of all, I want to show you how to identify that in fact you have the MIP2 system in your vehicle. So in menu, you want to go to setup MMI, scroll down to uh, version information and you will have this software version line over here. If it starts with MHI2, you have the MIP2 system. If you have uh, HN+, uh, you have the older MMI 3D+. So this procedure is not for your vehicle. This is only for MIP2, like we have over here. Okay, so right now I'm going to use OBD11, which is already connected to the vehicle to enable the developer mode. So let's go to list of all modules, scroll down to module 5F, which is the main unit of the infotainment system. Over here it's called multimedia. And over here we need to first change the, change the session. So we have change session option and we need to change from diagnostic to development mode. So let's change it. And this will allow us to enable the developer mode. So we are going to adaptation and one of the first things over here should be developer mode. Maybe let's use the search function, developer mode. It's set to not active. So let's switch it to active, slide to right. Adaptation was successfully saved. So right now we can disconnect from the vehicle and let's check. The button combination is menu and bottom left, you need to hold it at the, um, at the same time, but I think that we also need to reboot the system before this will work. So the button combination for reboot is menu, control knob, and top right. If you press those three buttons at the same time, you should see the uh, display to turn off. It's off, and right now the system is rebooting. And after half a minute or so, we should be able to enter the hidden green menu. So let's wait a little bit and and we will try to enter it. Uh, everything right now is loading, so the navigation is loading and we can go to menu or even let's stay in navigation. So let's check how fast it will load. As soon as the navigation is ready, I believe the whole system should be ready and the hidden menu should be accessible. So right now let's press back and bottom left buttons at the same time. And let's wait a couple seconds. Let's see what we will get. And the development mode is over here, but it's not yet in, not yet initialized. So we need to wait a couple more seconds. So let's go back maybe. Oh, it's here. We have the green engineering menu, we have production, and just uh, so you know, please don't play around with this menu. It's potentially dangerous to use it. You can easily break easily break your mine unit and make it unoperable, and you will have to um, uh, recover it, uh, which is not that simple. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this simple tutorial and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.